Hi guys, here I am today fitting a radiator in a person's bathroom. Now imagine my horror when I got the micro bore pipe that was existing, cut it, and got my 10 mil straight coupler, tried to put it on, and as you can see, it's loose to the name of a JJ. It just won't fit, it won't grab. Do you know why? Because it's 8 mil pipe instead of 10 mil pipe. Good job I drained down the system, otherwise we'd have come a mess. <laughs> anyway, this is how you get over it. Hello. Hello. Hello, Hello customer. <laughs> Sorry, we just had that, that private conversation with the customer out. I hope you don't mind. Um, right, so what you do... Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I just dropped a special bit and it's gone under the floor and it's fucked off. Oh, bugger. Bilbo, back in the you bugger, bugger, bugger. I'm not fucking joking. <laughs> right, friend, I'm here. I'm, go I'm going to try and find the, uh, the, 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 the part. Bloody hell, there's no jigsaw. <laughs> right, see you in a moment. <sighs> right, friends, let's try and carry on now with a bit more professionalism. So, what you need to do, you get yourself a normal 15 millimeter straight coupler, which comes with two olives already inside. Discard the olives, because you don't need them. So put them over there. Keep your compression nuts. Everyone likes a good pair of nuts. And then, what you do, you get yourself these magical inserts. One of them is 10 mil, one of them is eight mil. There you go, what a stupid method. But anyway, get yourself some compound. Be liberal with your compound. Rub it round, get it in. Do a ring like that, then do the other side. Do, 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 do. There you go. Then get one side, pop it in, give it a little twist. And you see the gear rooms out. That's what you're looking for. Well, there we go. So that's turned that into a 10 mil fitting. Get your eight mil. Give it a twist. You saw where it all ooze out. If it oozes out, the water stays in. There we go. So there we go. There we've got it. Right, so next job. Move over here. Where's my special piece? Where's my white wool? There we go. Right, now clean, clean the copper. If you don't clean the copper, again, you're gonna get a leak. Grab hold of it and give it a good jerk. Yeah, turn the shit out of that bastard. Ah, oh, gee, gee. <laughs> right, there we are, friends, right. Hang on, there's real cooking just coming into action. Hey, friends, how you doing? We were just having a bit of a laugh. But anyway, I, did, I, was, I just thought, when I was doing it, I, um, fuck off. Um, yeah, I did think if someone else was doing this and the ant, I mean, if I hadn't drained it down, I'd have been screwed, absolutely screwed. Right, so I've got my little um, adjustable micro bar pipe slice here. Give it a turn every time, turn it, keep spinning it round, give it a turn. So when I say give it a turn, I'm turning it, spinning it there, but turning the adjustable aspects of it, which tightens it up with its cutting wheel onto the copper. always have a little towel under there as well, even though I've drained it off, just, just a little bit of water in there. So get your fit in, insert the pipe into it, make sure it goes all the way in, get it finger tight so it doesn't move, get two spanners, fuck off, get that on it, look I'm, now I'm bunging it with my thumb. Right, what you'll see, did you notice then that it suddenly gave? It's because the inside of it was all completely squashing onto the pipe. In theory, what you've done, you've created your own olive. And I don't mean olive the fruit. I mean olive, you know, that, that holds copper pipes into compression fittings. There we go. Friends. That's that bit done. I'm going fast now because I'm going to on. And get your, just work out where you're going to go, about there. Give your pipe slides to plug it. Give it a twist, then it cooks it nice and clean. Don't forget your insert. If you forget your insert, you will get a leak. Slip her in. Come on, you beauty. She's in. And then repeat the tightening process. You'll notice immediately it just got there. Do you see? It just loosens, but now it tightens. Now this side 
will take a lot longer. Probably because I'm compressing that stupid fucking insert. But anyway, friends, there you go. That's how to uh, connect eight mil to 10 mil. If you ever come across it, Travis Perkins, I hate Travis Perkins because they're a set of robbing cunts, but Travis Perkins, the most disgusting fucking builders merchants in England, in my opinion, stock this very item. Um, oh, oh God. Ah, there we go. Friends, that is out of bodge eight to 10. I hope that this was informative and I'll see you in the next cooking video where we're going to make a meal for an entire family and it's only going to be one pound per person. Check in then. Enjoy beating the cost of living crisis with real cooking and his crony crew. Bye-bye, friends. Bye-bye.